Hey guys, good morning. This is Lax from North Phoenix. Welcome to my backyard archer. Okay, so today's topic is about Goa. So I'm going to show you the varieties of Goa that I have in my yard. And um, I will talk about what I know about these varieties. Most importantly, the feed that I, that I give them. Um, monthly, quarterly, yearly, whatever you call it as. Um, secondly, the uniqueness of each of these Goa varieties. Um, of course, the third is uh, uh, what thrives well here. With so what you see here is a tree that I planted uh, two years ago and it was in three gallon. So the, the variety is red view moth. Yeah, suddenly a large Goa and uh, you can imagine that you can see the growth in the last two years 17 feet high 12 feet wide that's crazy guys seriously if you want some variety okay uh, that i'm of course that i'm aware of that can really really grow faster so go for red beaumont again uh, you got to understand the taste of each of these goa before you buy okay so this variety is sweet and sour if you're looking for something super sweet no shower at all, then this is not a variety. See, but I, I, I learned, even my daughter, I'll tell you, she loves sweet and sour than just being sweet, okay? Um, the fruits are very juicy and the seeds are chewable. So one of the best goa, I would say, in my yard when it comes to um, how fast it can thrive and evergreen. I protected this only for, say, um, during what, for summer. And after that, I never protected for any of the seasons. So it's doing well. And, um, so for all my goas, the feed that I was give has was giving for the last like two years. Some of them are for the last 18 months. Some of them are for six months. Um, is like five one one fish emulsion. That's one of my feed. Uh, close like bi weekly I used to give them. And recently, like not two months ago, I, I switched to uh, seaweed Neptune harvest seaweed uh, on the fish emulsion. What do you call it? Is so that we all use in Arizona almost like uh, the same fish emulsion. Uh, but initially, right, the last two years for this guy, I've been feeding like 511, okay? Uh, in addition to the quarterly um, quarterly feed that I buy from Jay Beringer, the uh, rest of them are pretty common, okay? But again, uh, this is Red Beamon. This is wonderful. If you find this Red Beamon anywhere, just go for it because uh, it's giving a great look to evergreen. And for the first year, I protected during the summer. After that, I never ever protected. All right, so this is the size of the goa. You see, um, may, most of the goas are a little larger than this, okay? And what we're going to do is, we're gonna taste this real quick, and I want to show you guys how that looks inside. And my daughter loves this fruit uh, because the taste is like sour and sweet, okay? So, eat it, honey. How is that? Mm. <laughs> this is look like. I love sour things. I love the smell. Though I'm not a big fan of uh, sour and sweet, but I love, I like this goa. I'm okay? a big fan of sour. <laughs> Alright, thank you honey. Alright, so let's see, me, uh, see some of other varieties what I have. Very quick. This is my second variety. What you see is red Malaysian goa. Uh, the one difference you would immediately, uh, you can see, is the color of the foliages. It looks like an ornamental plant, right? Um, and the, the flowers are beautiful. They are in pink color. See that flowers in pink color? Completely in pink color. Right. So um, the fruit um, color is also somewhere close to this foliage color, like a kind of grayish and purplish, whatever you call it as. And inside it's really, really red. So basically red goa, super sweet i love this fruit um, different flavor i don't know i i don't know how to explain the flavor but it's really good and i protected only one summer and one winter it's been there for the last 18 months i bought it all i went i bought it in five gallon um thriving in a decent uh pace but if not like a red beaumont um decent growth rate okay um the other thing that i want to talk about is chewing the seed it's a little hard okay uh, this plant the seeds are a little hard it's first year when i ate i felt it and um, this this is my second year let me see how that is going to be uh, uh, if you want anyone have the red malaysian if you have tasted that i would like to really really understand uh, how the seeds are but little hard to chew okay one of my great addition in the yard uh, 
again same fish emulsion and same feed for these let's see this is my third variety um, this is basically white goa okay a um, couple of highlights about this about this tree number one the fruit taste really really sweet super sweet and flavor amazing and um, the one thing we all love in our family about this plant is when even one fruit ripens the whole seating area smells really really great that's amazing feel we have okay um, I don't know why I don't know why but this is a great smell we love that guava flavor okay um, again in terms of the protection I I protected for one summer and one winter after that I, I stopped protecting it's 18 months 18 months almost two years excuse me two years in the ground um, the growth rate you would see the difference of two years between red Beaumont and this one this one is of slow growing I, I don't know why uh, have the same feed same care what same love uh, but still this is a slow grower um, every year I mean last year I got close to 25 fruits and this year I'm expecting at least 25 plus um, this is one of my great addition in the yard all right so what you see here is um, tropical white goa my fourth variety um, this has been in the ground for the last six months okay when I bought it was in 15 gallon close to like six feet high but not bushy and uh, I, I, the way I want this to be grown is kind of bushy, okay? Which, because uh, the, lo the spot that I have, um, I felt it's better to grow bushy, not just as a single trunk, okay? Few highlights about this plant. Number one, when I bought this plant, I ate the fruit from the same plant. I immediately fell in love. Um, thin skin, very juicy, super sweet, and not only that, the seeds were so soft, okay? Uh, it was easy to chew. I loved it. I fell in love, and uh, it, it, the, it has got a good flavor too, the smell too. Okay, um, I I think in next to one and a half years, right? Um, I can expect the growth rate like a red beamon. Um, with the way it is growing, uh, the, I I feel like it's going to grow faster. Okay? I didn't cover that during the first winter. It's been in the ground for the last six months. I didn't cover that at all, um, and. Uh, I didn't protect that, excuse me, I didn't protect that. I'm not going to cover this during uh, the summer. I want to see how this is going to thrive. All right guys, so here's my fifth variety, okay? Um, I wanted to specifically plant it close to my seeding area. So uh, I do not know about the growth rate. I, pl I just planted this uh, a month ago. Uh, but again, eventually after two years, um, if this can grow in whichever the growth rate, uh, if this is going to give an aesthetic look to my seating area, okay? Okay, so this variety is called as Cuban Giant White Gova. So I waited for this plant almost for two years, okay? Um, I got it last month. Uh, um, so far good, I planted again uh, with the same method. Okay, the same feeding I'm going to have, but I decided to close this for the first year, okay? I don't want to take a chance. Um, I decided to protect this for the first year, uh, but all my plants, goa trees, after one year, um, I don't protect them. I want them to uh, learn uh, uh, and to grow in Arizona uh, weather, okay? Um, so my understanding about this plant is um, the fruits are going to be super big, okay? It's going to be extra large, this size maybe, okay? And it has got another name called Kilo Goa. Okay, Kilo is basically the unit of measurement, like pounds, okay? Um, so super big, but inside i cannot describe at this moment um i try to learn from um, from youtube i don't see much of the videos on this neither i found um, uh, anyone growing here if someone growing here please please let me know i want to kind of visit your ad and see this okay so this is my yet another exotic goa fruit tree called cuban giant white goa so that's all about my goa trees so i have totally five trees at this moment i heard about lemon goa and I heard about Mexican um, cream goa. Um, uh, I need to decide, like, you know, if I need to find one more, what I can have. But again, I'm running out of the space. Um, so these are my five varieties. Any questions on this? Please, please let me know. Um, have a great day. Thank you.